in the whole time. Oh my god. What? We were all supposed to be drinking hot chocolate. <laughs> I said I got wine for myself. I can't. I can't. Hey y'all, what's up? Welcome back. I have my sisters with me. <laughs> And we are just, you know, sharing our night with you all. Um, in this video, you're going to see us a little um, dancing, um, a little laughing, a little being irritated with each other, a little face mask situation, a little like hot chocolate, a little wine um, <laughs> over here. And yeah, so we are um, just spending time and we wanted to share this moment with you all so here we are so let's just go ahead and get into this video well, the dancing thing was kind of a fail <laughs> <laughs> um, but now it's mask time we're gonna go do some masks yes finally so we gotta find the ones that we want to do all right so let's find the masks all right so the masks we have to choose from. The Papaya Purifying Enzyme Mask by June Jacobs. We have this. Then we also have, let's go into my dirty bathroom. Um, we have this, oh, more super mud. We have this Glam Glow. This is the Youth Mud. Then we also have Gravity Mud. Of this one, which is the Mega Greens Galaxy Pack Detoxing Mask. Also had the Moisturizing Moon Mask. Oh, it smells kind of interesting. It smells like cough syrup. Let me smell it. Ooh, it's interesting. This one is to be a firming treatment for firming, lift, tight, uh, toned, sexy contours. Yes. All right. Oh, I posted on Instagram and on Snapchat. Um, what you guys wanted us to do. Obviously, a lot of Juju on the Beat votes oh were taken. Can we then advice on, oh, this is a good one. Advice on managing a blended family for the holidays. Like, do I go to my dad's house or do I go to my mom's house or with Bay's family? That's a struggle. That, that is the struggle of yeah. every Can't holiday. Relate. Yeah. Can't relate. <laughs> You can relate on the mom and dad part. Yeah, that's about it. <laughs> but I mean, that's not really that's hard. The, that's the biggest one. I mean, it, yeah. it's going to be harder for you now because you're going to be in school. Like, you actually have a choice. You mean? Before, you didn't really have a choice. Well, dad works on on um, Christmas anyway. So normally, we open like one present and then we'll go to mom's house. FYI, um, you guys. So me and Simone have the same mom and dad. And then Madison has a different dad, but we all have the same mom. So yes. she... So... We have to make that decision. We've made that decision, well, the whole between mom and dad's house. We've made that since what? We were like five? Six? Yeah, I mean, we weren't really We were making the decisions, but I mean, like, when we were teenagers. College. No, no. Because we didn't, I, we didn't, I remember well, saying, yeah, I'm going to go to, no, no, we would switch it, off. Okay, go we would switch off. There. So we would, we would go switch off. Year. We would switch off all mm -hmm. of our lives, and then when we got to college and we were grown, we would make the decision. Oh, of, my God. <laughs> But we make that decision every year. So, I mean, it's kind of hard. And then, you know, me and Simone have, we do have bays that we do have to coordinate. Mm -hmm. We do have to coordinate. Um, I mean, I don't know. I feel like for, for me, we've kind of settled into a kind of a plan. So every year for the past ooh, four or five, six, Maybe like six years, we've always done Thanksgiving with his parents um, at his family's house in Lubbock, Texas, because that's just always been a thing. They do a big Thanksgiving. Um, my family really doesn't do a big Thanksgiving. It's always kind of here and there. So I always went with him to Thanksgiving, and then usually for Christmas, we'll go to my dad's or my mom's. Um, when we first moved to Philly, we went with his sister and her husband and kids. Um, but they moved, well, she's moved so far, so, um, this year we'll actually, I think, be by ourselves in Philly. Um, so I think when you get to a certain age, like when you're off on your own and maybe you're living with Bay, um, 
it's okay to do your own thing too so then you kind of get to decide okay is this the year we go with them is this the year we have our own christmas because having your own christmas having your own thanksgiving is also really fun too um sometimes you have to because you know one of you guys works right the day before day after you can't travel um you know for my case our first year in philadelphia we moved in like november of 2014 so we didn't have any kind of money to go and buy tickets back to Texas for Thanksgiving that was in like three weeks um, or Christmas that was, you know, a month later. Like the tickets were like $600 round trip each way. So um, there was, there, it wasn't going to happen. Um, so we learned, we learned how to have holidays together. But even before then, we had holidays um, in college where it might have been just us because we had to work Black Friday or something like that. Um, but yeah, I mean, it just, it just really boiled down to what does each family care about the most. His family cared about Thanksgiving, um, and they had a big Thanksgiving where their entire family got together. That wasn't so much the case for Christmas, so we always kind of settled with Christmas at, um, my parents' house, or one of my parents' house then. Um, as far as my parents go, we kind of came to the same thing of every other year we were either with mom or dad, um... Yeah, I mean, that's kind of how it's been, honestly. Like, this year, I think, and going forward, I'll probably do it in threes. So, one with my dad, one with my mom, one with his parents, well, four, and then one by my, ourselves, so we don't have to travel. Um, at some point, they're going to have to come travel to see us because these flights are adding up. So Our parents are pretty cool about um, holidays because since they lived overseas for so long, they are used to not being with all of their family for holidays. So they're definitely op more open to us not being with them for holidays just because they understand how it is to be young and you know you got your own thing going on, you might have a job that's taking you out of state or whatever the case may be. Um, so they're they're really, really understanding. Um, it's a twerk video. Oh, no. what? What? Um, other questions that I got on Snapchat. Relationship advice. A lot of people want relationship advice. I feel like y'all hear me talk about relationships a lot. In a vlog, I talked about um, relationship advice and stuff. What? I keep getting little hairs. <laughs> I talked about relationships and, um, you know, I feel like we, I, us two, Madison really, you know. Can't relate. <laughs> you shouldn't be able to relate. You're too young. Not necessarily. You were with Travis at her age. I would have I a boyfriend know, but still, like two or three years the, at that the age. The norm is not to be in a relationship. Well, I don't think you can even say that that is the norm not to be in a relationship because that's not true. I think you overgeneralize when you say it's not normal to be in a relationship at 18 years old. I don't know. I feel like you should not be in a serious relationship at 18 years old. You don't even know yourself, let alone trying to learn somebody else and be with somebody else. But I mean, sometimes when people are together, you learn about yourself with that person or you go together. You learn life with somebody. It's a lot less drama and a lot less stress when you can learn yourself without worrying about somebody else. That's the ideal situation. Does that happen most times? Probably not, especially if you're cute and you know you like to be around people and you're social. You most likely will have a boyfriend, but I mean I feel like until you're in your early 20s and in college, like you should not be worried because you're going to be changed so much. Like the added stress of having a boyfriend who usually ain't shit or a girlfriend that usually doesn't know how to be on her own. Like you want to know that they can love themselves or know themselves. Well, this is my thing though. I feel like it. it is... Um, I think it is a good thing to try out relationships and to see what you like and what you don't like. I think the greatest thing that I got out of being in a relationship since I was 16, you know, little boyfriends, long-term boyfriends, whatever situationships, was that I got to learn what I liked and what I didn't like. And honestly, in a lot of situations, when it comes to relationships, you have to go through it to really understand how to cope with something or deal with a, a situation in a better way or to learn about your own, like, you know, like issues as far as like communication and like, you know, selfishness or whatever that may be. Like you kind of, you have to try out different situations and different people to experience new things, to, you know, figure out what you want and what you don't want. So I think, you know, I don't necessarily think it's a good or bad thing whether you're in a relationship at a young age or not. I think it's important to 
um, make sure that you understand what it means to be in a relationship, whether you're 16 or 36. Like you, it, I don't think age really matters when it comes to like loving and being loved and showing love. You're gonna make mistakes whether you're young or old. So I don't we lost we look like aliens. Silvers. We do look like you know aliens. what this reminds me. <laughs> Been with my boyfriend Travis since 2008. Um, consistently, 90% of the time consistent. Um, <laughs> the last six years have been very 100% consistent. Um, but 2008 was high school and then it was college. So um, we actually stayed pretty, pretty uh, consistent through college actually. Only a couple little blips. But um, honestly, the, what kept us together through all of that was just we really did not put a lot of pressure on our relationship at all. Um, like the way I thought through it was just like day to day. We were just happy and, and so we just liked each other and we continued to like each other and love each other. Um, and we just enjoyed each other's time. And um, You go through ups and downs but you have to remember what's that constant, that purpose, what's underlying that keeps you together through the goods and the bads. Um, if you literally can't stand the person the day after you're in a fight, then that's when y'all need to break up. Um, because that's that's uh, not a good look at all. Um, usually in the heat of the moment, yes, you're gonna say things that you're gonna regret. Yes, you might call them out of the name, which I suggest you not do. Can that's I one of those. Question. That's I have one question. of those. Have you and Drive ever done the five love, love language quiz? Negative. Really? Why? Because. That's just not a common thing. I don't know. Like that's just you guys should though. Okay. I mean that's great. I'm sure we should. Oh, I just I didn't know okay. if you had. I would suggest no. that you do because we've been doing it, this cold turkey well, just by ourselves. Well, I mean as as most people do, but it's a really good tool for figuring out your love language and you know those little like maybe things that you think you know about a person, but you never know. You could be surprised if you take it and if you're not surprised then or you get the same thing then that just means like you know y'all are on a good track it's just a good kind of like measure of um what you want as an individual and what he wants as an individual and like being able to communicate like what's the best thing because you may not realize that you do love two different ways what like because you, you guys have been together for so long yeah, I mean, I think that's fair. Like, I don't know. Like, that's the other flip side of being with someone for so long. It, it is one of those things, like, because you've you changed, be, and each changed. Sure. Yeah. So what I'm what I'm thinking is is like, you you have every time you start a relationship, you're setting the norms of any relationship, no matter if it's a friend, if it's a sister, if it's anything. You're setting norms, and if you set those norms at 16 years old. Normally those norms don't work when you're 26 years old. Um, so you have to adjust and you have to evolve. Yeah. And um, that's I think what you start to realize when you hit like the three to four year mark, especially if you're not married yet. I'm not married yet. Um, I'm not mad that I'm not married yet. I'm very okay with that. Um, because I realize that we're still very, very young and but we there's want no the rush. Ring. Of course we want the ring and the ring is gonna come, but there's no I want in pressure. I know you, you want, want it what? sooner, but girl, you ain't in the relationship. I so, <laughs> like, it's gonna. The thing is, when you realize that it's going to happen, there is no like we're. The and the other part is we also live together. Um, more so for financial reasons because I, I moved to Philly for my job. Um, when we lived in Dallas, we did not live together. Um, we didn't plan on living together uh, anytime soon until my job moved me to Philly. How do you feel about relationships? Haven't you like gotten in one or? I don't know. What do you mean? There just hasn't been the right person. Cause I feel like you would be in one if you found somebody that was cool. Yeah. Cool. It's kind of weird because I can't picture you with somebody. Like I can't picture you like. Oh, this is Madison's boyfriend. That would be strange. Isn't that weird? That would be strange. Well, because, okay, y'all, like, she is very, like, quirky and fun and, like, very, like, not worried about boys. And even in, like, high school and stuff. 
but like me which is Simone, a good thing which is a great thing. It's good thing but me and Simone were on a totally different wave back then <laughs> we had we were very <laughs> and it's so weird because when I think about that we were like boy crazy but it was like the 17 magazine boy crazy it mm -hmm. wasn't like the twerk video boy crazy oh yeah you know, it was like 17 mag yeah like, like, like we wanted we, to go to the yeah. movies and see boys and that's like called, you know why that's it's called like One Direction Obsession yeah oh, she was oh. a fangirl from One Direction yeah, yeah. still are yeah we never were on that. No. Never fangirled over no. a like boy group. They consumed you. They did. It <laughs> it took, and you had very I high standards it. after that, you yeah. Know? Like yeah. boys oh, high, around yeah. school don't look like Zane. So no, no one looks like Zane. So I'm, I'm here too, so waiting. <laughs> <laughs> you have to claim it. Claim what? Claim that, like girl, no, 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 no. Like, not claiming. I'm saying man, claiming. No. no, 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 no. I'm saying claiming that you're gonna find somebody cool that you'll enjoy spending time with. That's what I'm saying. I'm not cl saying claim that you'll have a boyfriend this year. Like no. Claim I, I, that, will, like, I will say though that it is it is better in my opinion to find the man during college versus not because the the amount of energy it takes to meet new people outside of college mm -hmm. is so much harder than it is in but college. But it's meant for you, it's meant for you. It is. Because it I is. didn't meet Mark in college. Right, but do you remember the two years after Sean and in between? That was yeah. terrible. Oh, yeah. <laughs> terrible. Okay, and that's what I imagine <laughs> when you think about trying to find a dude out of college. It's really hard. Like, we really look like aliens. We do. I think I put a lot of my nose by accident. This is weird. <sighs> I feel like I should have did one that was more like for dry skin. Ooh. I have a moisture mask. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Can you do multiple masks? Yeah. Okay, I this is moisture weird. Mask. I'm trying to like kind of keep it together at the same time. Did oh! you ever do those those cucumber peels, man? This kind of feels good though. What? The cucumber peels. You remember the cucumber peels? Oh, they're at wow. um they're in the tube. Oh wow, this actually is coming off all really way. easy. Yeah, really really easy. Huh. Ooh. Jumping. This skin nice. feels tight. I wouldn't say my skin feels tight. I feel it feels nice though. It feels that, that youth mud and the super mud look amazing. Really good. Why the hell do we use that? <laughs> <laughs> How do you deal with ups and downs with each other? Because I'm constantly nagging and arguing with my little sis, but we always make up like nothing. We do the same thing. Same. Well, well same. yeah, I we don't fight with her. Madison never has issues because she's just very chill. <laughs> Never has issues. I don't even. I I will say though, Madison, you were annoying sometimes as a kid. <laughs> oh, tell her. Oh, yeah, oh my was god. She was the ultimate snitch. Okay. Oh my god. I didn't know ultimate. any better. You didn't. You didn't. I, I was, was worried about it. you guys. Because <laughs> we would be sneaking out. Exactly. And yeah. she would go into our room like, <laughs> we we're <were> in <laughs> And we'd be like, Damn. <laughs> oh my but god. And we were really that. we were really bad, like in high school. Like sneaking out, taking the car with no license. You did that. I never did that. Y'all. We don't I'm need to air out. We don't need have, to air out. We're not gonna air out dirty laundry, no, okay? No. But all I have what's to say done is, is done. What's done is done. And I really have some bad karma whenever I have kids. I was like, damn child. because I the stuff think it was that bad. I mean we didn't Okay, you're making it sound like scary. We didn't do anything out of the norm than any other teenage person. Like, honestly, we did even less. All the things that we did, Madison never did. That's true. Like, at all. That's true. Madison never did nothing. We we were bad. Like, we were bad. <laughs> we, like, did illegal things. I mean, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it was normal, totally. but it doesn't mean that it wasn't I illegal mean, and it wasn't know. bad. I don't know if any... I don't know. I guess it's... But we learned from our mistakes and we did. We're the normal. That we are today. So we're normal. We're no just know that we've li we've else. lived a lot of situations and experiences in our young 25 years on this earth. Um, we fight probably constantly, low okay. key, all the time. But it's almost like we'll fight and then we just will like kind of like leave the situation where it is and then start talking about something else. And like then move on. No, <laughs> you hell. do not look dusty. No makeup on, but you got Are lashes. You, okay, and fine, fine, on. fine. Are you kidding me? I am on my channel without 
it on all the time. I'm talking about it looking good or it not looking good, okay? It's not that deep, but I'm not about to be in a video where we're talking about clay masks and full face makeup on. I like filming with you better than I did the moment. <laughs> Y'all can exit my ass right out of this damn video. I'm two steps away from being like Dunza. <laughs> from Target. They are actually pretty comfy. They are nice. They should, are like I will probably wear them. I will probably we wear these these more often. We will. We're gonna sleep in the, in these and watch Netflix till we fall asleep. Top Chef. Yeah. Season. Top Chef. What what season? Yeah. I don't know. We're just binge watching Top yeah. Chef. I like the earlier season. They are good. They're scandalous. Yeah. Let us Bye. know if you guys, you know, want these two crazies back. But until next time, see you later. Bye. Ew, did you lick my finger? I mean yeah. my hand? Ew. Well, your hand was my finger. Uh, so. Gross!